Yep, I got it. Obviously very disappointed. This hurts deeply. We really, I really felt that this team could have gotten it across the line. We didn't play well enough in the last quarter in order to do that. Not gonna run away from how much this hurts. Me individually and us as an organization. Going to use this as fuel to come back better next season. From you know, this game perspective, it was an 18 3 run from them to end it. You know, if you look at it, I mean, you know, paper or anything, but is there anything that you notice that your team perhaps could have done better to get out of the way? We gave up some second chance points that were crucial. I think we were up seven when they missed a three off the backboard. Glover rebounded and dunked the ball. Got to a few good shots in the paint from the post. But this happened to us during this series where Sydney and Justin Simon kind of picked up the intensity in different spaces and our offense stagnated and struggled a little bit. A big part of it comes down to our ability to make spot threes. We shot the ball very poorly over this series. Sydney strategically closed the paint with multiple players left good shooters with shots that I'm happy for them to take and we want them to shoot. Didn't drop. Um, that's just in a glance. I'm sure I'll see a lot more when I go through the film. What's the experience been coaching Will over the course of this series and the adjustments that they've gone through from going under screens and him responding to that and then you know pressing up at him and him responding to that too, you know? What's it been like watching his growth over this series? Um like a father watching his kid, it's not really the series for me and Will. It goes three years back where he couldn't make a shot. That wasn't a layup. And we spent a whole COVID off season shooting five, six hours a day. Both of us got tendonitis in the shoulder, me from being old and fat and rebounding and him from shooting a lot. Good night, Maori. Um, and that was his first step, and then... That's a good coach right there, man. <laughs> That's you. a special coach right there, man. Thank you, JB. If anybody recruit, if he recruits you, he's special, man. That's a special coach. He's one of a kind. Thank I you. I love you, Mo. Good job, man. I'm sorry. I love you, man. I love, I love you, you too, JB. <laughs> I love you, JB. So... <laughs> um, I love you, too. I love you, too. <laughs> so that was kind of our first step, and then it was... Adding his ability to finish and the in-between, the floater, that was year two. And year three this season was about taking a step forward as an individual, taking responsibility. We saw him take another step forward. And now step four is consistency. That I'm really looking forward to us taking this step together as well, where he impacts the game all the time in every game. Um, it's a normal progress. This is not criticism. Don't pick this the wrong way. This is a normal progression for a young player. And the next step is doing it every game, and I'm very excited to take that next step together. How does that feel, knowing your first, your first year as a head coach, you guys to the league, and they have that sort of buy-in and that sort of appreciation for you? How does it feel knowing that you have those sorts of guys there and you've made that impact on them? It's important that... Both feelings live together at the same time. Yeah, this pain that I feel now from losing, which we need as perspective and fuel to keep improving, and at the same time knowing what are the things we did well. There's a lot of things that we did the right way that led us to be in game five against the defending champions with a chance to win. So for us to Dad, analyze Dad, the year. What's up, kiddo? For us to analyze the season properly 
It's important to differentiate between what we did right and what we did wrong and what are the areas where we need to maintain and what are the things that we need to improve. And one of the things we did great is putting in great people in this building. And we were able to create an environment where everybody feels appreciated and everybody feels a part of. And that unity as a team carried us through a lot of challenges over the season. And it's definitely something that I take pride in. But that's it. Modi, Tom mentioned during his speech playing last year in front of a crowd with no fans, and then last week you, uh, on Sunday, sorry, you sold out uh, the Auckland game. Looking back on the season, how does this compare to what happened last season? One of the things I said at the beginning of this year is that everybody was talking about how great it is that we're back home. And I didn't feel it was cause for celebration. I, the sense that it gave me was a sense of responsibility. We wanted this team to play in a way, to conduct itself in a way that our fan base, Kiwis, feel proud of. It resonates with them. They want to be part of it. And over the last month, there were a few instances where it was really clear that we achieved that goal. I'm very proud of it. But now it's on us to do it again, and hopefully we settle out from game one. Most of your fans have been watching the game uh, home in New Zealand. Do you have a message to them tonight? Like always, I hope you saw a team that left everything it had on the floor. I'm looking forward to all you buying membership tickets and hope we sell out game one next year. Modi, uh, Ryan Rivera, last game probably for the team nominated for the draft. What have you seen him now that the season's over just as a whole? An incredible competitor, an incredible talent. Had a really tough series, didn't find his footing so much. But we're not in the grand finals without Ryan. And I've been around a few next stars and I've been in the league basically since the next star program has started and there's never been a next star who's impacted winning as much as Ryan. Uh, it doesn't even come close. This kid was a focal point for a lot of the things that we did. And the, f the thing that a lot of people kind of miss because he came back well is that he missed that rookie jump. All of the next stars that we've had, somewhere in the middle of the season, there was a real leap. Even not the guys that played for us, Giddy, Lamelo, etc., were great players in their own right. Ryan missed it. He was out for eight. He stuck around, kept working, improved his left hand, improved physically. It's been a privilege coaching him. Whoever drafts him is going to be so happy. Matt, uh, most of the sort of rotation guys on this team are free agents. Going into this offseason, obviously, the guys are going to be on Will as the local. Um, you know, what, is, what's, what are your confidence levels that he'll come back? And how can you express in words the extent to which you would love him back? Yeah, we love Will. I mean, it's been well documented how much Modi loves Will and their relationship. I love Will because I love the way he plays basketball, aside from how he is as a person. I mean, he's smart. He does all the right things. Watching him progress these last three years has been um, amazing. We're going to do everything we can. There's a business side of this, right? Um, but we're going to do everything we can. I think he'll be back. Uh, you appointed Modi as a head coach. Um, what's your reaction to seeing a guy like Jarrell come in and have that sort of interaction with him? Uh, it's no surprise I saw it the last three years as an assistant. And Modi was an incredible partner for Dan Shamir. And I watched that every day. He did everything he could to help Dan win. And then when it was his time up, um, he was the only choice that I would have went with. I knew that he was ready. And um, it's a privilege to have guys like Modi um, lead our organization. It is. I love him. Um, I miss being around all this year because uh, my favorite uh, time is having an Uzo with him after a game, win or lose, so we'll have some tonight. And we've enjoyed that the last few weeks. But Modi's great. I'm looking forward to what we can do next year. But it was no surprise. Uh, is there an awareness of how much this team's done for basketball in New Zealand when you see, you know, obviously, not being able to go to games the last couple of years, to go home and pack the crowd out to perform so competitively this season? Is there a sense of accomplishment there? Yeah, I mean, I think I used up all my emotions on Sunday at Spark Arena. Um, and not because we won. You know, this was a hard-fought series. Two really good teams. 
we could have lost on Sunday, I would have been equally as proud. But it was because, like Modi said, we had a, we were very intentional with what we built this year. We wanted to build a team that resonated with New Zealand fans after being gone for two years. And it wasn't just all of a sudden it happened. We've been working on this for five years. Um, you know, I went I, when I first bought the team. I went to a Melbourne United New Zealand Breakers uh, game two elimination game. I don't know how many people were in Spark, but it wasn't 9,730. Um, so it's a point of pride. I'm very grateful for our fan base. Um, we're going to work all off season. You know, the work starts as soon as we get back on the playing roster and how we can connect with our community and fans better. So, um, you know, we had some momentum in 1920 and then something called COVID happened, and that's life. And kind of like shooting off the side of the backboard and getting a rebound in the most important moment of the grand finals. That happens. And uh, you move on, you learn from it, and we're in no way finished. We'll be back. Matt, you, you got fined today. Uh, they, they also got fined throughout the series. Um, the gamesmanship has been fun. Some people don't like it, some people do. What's your thoughts on sort of I mean, it was clear the refs decided everything tonight. No, I'm kidding. Um, look, I think it's been. I'm out. <laughs> junk, I'm junk. I think it's been well documented. Mine and our feelings as an organization for the Sydney Kings, right? I love Paul Smith. I love Chris Pongress. I respect Chase Buford so much as a coach. It's been awesome getting to see them, what they've done the last two years. After the game, as much as it pained me, I went up and gave them all a hug and said congratulations. So it's all part of it, right? Like, Chase knew what he was doing. I believe that. Um, I shouldn't tweet when I'm emotional. Yeah, I sat here the other night, and when Rob Lowe got the foul that got overturned, my first thought was maybe they'll foul us all out. And I tweeted it. And I've since met with Larry and said <laughs> my Twitter fingers would be calm during the game. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's all part of it. And Paul Smith said it best, I think. He knew it. I knew what I was doing. And but this play, this series was decided by the players, and ultimately the team that was first place most of the year ended up in first, and the team that was second place, and I think clearly the other best team had a chance to win, and we couldn't close it. Um, but I sat out there and watched every minute of the celebration, including the confetti. One, because I think it's the right thing to do, and but two, I wanted to feel every single moment of it, because um, I, I don't want to feel that again. And um, we'll, we'll go get back to work and be back here. Brody, do you have an appreciation, you know, looking back now, about going against a guy like Chase Buford? Had a great appreciation to them before the series started. I think whoever looked at anything that I said was always very clear. I felt we were going up against the best team in the league. For me, Chase was the best coach in the league. His team played their style to the highest level. Two best players on the floor, Derek Walton and Xavier Cooks challenged each and every one of our defenders, each and every one of our covers. At the same time, a lot of X Factors step up and play great. Glover, Justin Simon, Jordy Hunter. We want to play against the best. This is where you're measured. Um, this series will make me a better coach. This series, this series will make us a better team. I'm grateful for the challenge, and they should be very proud of what they've accomplished. They did it the right way. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Great job, man.